Greetings, fellow followers of the Prince of Peace. Today is Friday, February 25th, 2022. It's been a little bit of a challenging week, perhaps, for you. It's been for me. Um, I had some illness this week. Also, uh, all of the things happening in the world, especially in Ukraine and Russia, are quite disconcerting. And uh, um, it's been a bit of emotional space to be in. And so I have found that we have been praying for peace. And in my prayer, it has become clear to me that in order to pray for peace in the world, we must pray for the courage, this wisdom, and the strength to root out those things within our own selves which keep us from peace with ourselves, with our families, our friends, our neighbors, and our enemies. As followers of the Prince of Peace, this is our call. This is our duty. to start with ourselves and not pretend to pray to have God fix it all, that we must be a part of that solution. So may you do that work. May you join us this week when we begin the sacred time of Lent, where we will be surrendering to God's transforming fire of love. And so I invite you to commit to Lenten practice this year to attend as many of all the services midweek and on the weekend as you can to allow God's transforming love to mold your heart and mind. We'll be gathering this Wednesday 12.15 and 7.30 for services for Ash Wednesday. And then for five additional weeks after that, at the same time, 12.15 and 7.30, to work on cultivating the practices of love of God so that we may be more and more the followers of the Prince of Peace. Before that, uh, this weekend, we will gather in person again. The numbers of the coronavirus have uh, tapered off um, that we're able to do that. And we will be doing that. So 5.30 Saturday night, and then two services in person on Sunday, 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. All of those services will celebrate the Sacrament of Communion. We will continue with our protocols of uh, wearing a mask. For as followers of the Prince of Peace, we are followers of Jesus, who tells us to take up our cross, to follow him, to do those things that must be done so that others may have life. And so we will continue um, gathering, uh, and when we do so for this time being, uh, to wear masks. Even after um, the New Jersey state mandate is lifted uh, in about 10 days, uh, we will continue to wear masks for a season. Uh, and then uh, hopefully that uh, season will come to an end. But for now, we will continue to be the people who do what is necessary, even those simple things like wearing a mask, to help our neighbor be safe. So friends, um, I'm anxious to see you all in person. I'm glad that we'll be able to gather together again. Uh, I'm anxious uh, to for us to begin this Lenten journey. May our mutual support of one another help us during this time of raised anxiety and fear. But may we know that the God of love is with us in so many ways. 
May we continue to remind each other of that and hold on to that truth and to live and walk and pray and be in that love. See you soon.